Hey guys. Um, so I just thought I would go over some of the modifications I've made to my Old Town Autopilot since I got it. I've had it since September of 2021 and I uh, really like it a lot as a platform, but I've uh, made some changes to it just um, to meet my own needs and I'll talk a little bit about that. So uh, one of the first things I did that I would definitely recommend if, if you uh, maybe troll or fish for bigger fish, um, I changed out the plastic um, gear tracks for some much heavier duty aluminum ones. Uh, I've got them both sides here, there, and I even changed out the back ones too. And the reason I did the back ones, not so much because I use them for trolling, but uh, sometimes I use it if I have to transport the kayak over distances. Um, I will use my wheels that I can't remember what the name is right now. Um, but they were they were pulling out the uh, back tracks. They just kept popping off them. So anyway, um, the other things I did, I added some smaller plastic tracks here. Um, this is nice to... Um, Sometimes I'll put rod holders there, sometimes my flag there, but it's more convenient than reaching all the way back here. Um, other things I did, of course, you might be able to see already, I added live scope um, to the kayak, which I really like. Um, it's kind of been a bit of uh, trial and error as far as like placement and wiring it and, and all of that. And I just did um, another video a little while ago, I'll put a link to it. Um, I built a battery box for it that I can keep um, kind of more juice on board for it because it, it really sucks down batteries pretty fast, especially if you're out on the water for like a full day. Um, so I'll put a link to that. And other things I've done. Um, I have bought Scotty products for years, really like them, but the gear, the, the small gear heads um, for the components, they're just not sturdy enough if you're fishing for like large species like big catfish or maybe trolling in the ocean or salmon or something like that. And I got these um, kind of dual um, point, I think they're gunnel mounts, but they seem to be a lot sturdier and they keep my... Um, they keep the arms from swinging around like when a fish pulls on it or, or uh, just you're trolling with a heavy planer board. And then I've got a couple of um, yak attack mounts. Those are really nice. I like them a lot. They're, they're really solid. Um, and then the last things I've done. Um, so I've got, you can kind of see over here. This is where I mounted my, um, the transducer. Um, for the panoptics and it's a good spot for that. I used to have to lean forward to get it as a pain But it's right there. It's really convenient and then you also notice I've got a um, anchor trolley on one side and Instead of putting them on both um, I just put a cleat over here. So a lot of times if I if I fish in the river um, I'll put an anchor out in the back and then to keep the nose from swinging around I've got this cleat here and I'll just drop another anchor and that keeps the bow from swinging. So um, I think those are the basic modifications that I've made. I have a gazillion accessories and I use different things depending on the species and the location I'm fishing from. And uh, I'll talk more about that in the future. But if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. And as always, if you find what I am doing helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.